Mamo Ngobane has been running Masizane Krish in Mapumolo for six years. She uses her government pension to take care of 54 children. This place is a very poor people. Yes, government is given the grant, but it's not uh, enough for feeding the children. That crash is helping the children because it's eating two meals on the school and it's eating supper at home. There's no running water or sanitation in the area. Electricity is very expensive and most meals are prepared over an open fire. To go to fix the water very far away is put the water on my head, 20 liter or 25 liter, is bring the school to cooking the children. And it's not a get, got a gas, it's not got electric, and it's going to push to found it, the fire, to make the cooking the children's food. A year ago, the South African National Energy Development Institute stepped in. It's piloting a new eco-friendly project in rural areas across the country. Solar panels generate electricity and water tanks harvest rain and store drinking water. The biggest challenge of these facilities is actually energy because you need energy to cook, you need energy to bath, you know, the young ones, um, you need um, energy to keep them warm. So if you are only dependent on traditional fuels or you are dependent on electricity, you know, th these are two extremes. One is very expensive, the other one is very unhealthy. The institute has also provided the crash with a biogas digester, which runs off waste. I'm going to my brother's house because got a lot of cow. I go to pick up the cow's duck and bring here to mix the water and put inside there. If I put inside there and the potatoes um, and the cabbage leaves, and then is make the gas stove. The Masizane Kresh now has constant supplies of water, solar power and biogas. The water and manure makes sure this garden thrives and the produce is used to feed the children. There's an inlet uh, and uh, there's a dome where it, 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 it holds uh, the um, carbon dioxide and you know, we've got a, an outlet. And in the inlet you put all this uh, decomposing stuff and as well as cow dark. Then we connected the pipe uh, to, to, to the kitchen uh, where the gas goes. And at the outlets, the, the water that goes out there, it's, it's used fully for vegetation. As you can see behind me, there are some beans and stuff they planted. The Institute is hoping to replicate this model in other villages across South Africa to help communities who have little or no access to basic services. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Mapumolo, South Africa.